Okay. In 1946, when I was nine, my family moved to Mammoth Hot Springs in Yellowstone. We lived in this uh, stone duplex next to the visitor center. It was built in 1909 by the Army when they administered the park. We attended grade school in the Army Post Exchange Building. The attached canteen at the rear was used for recess, basketball, volleyball, Friday night roller skating, square dancing, and community Halloween and Christmas parties. In the 1913 Army Chapel, Catholic services were at nine Sunday mornings, Protestant services at 11, and Mormon services at four in the afternoon. The Mormons being, of course, the Church of Jesus Christ of later in the day saints. <laughs> We swam at Mammoth's outdoor pool and, and Old Faithful's magnificent indoor pool, deemed inappropriate in a national park. They were removed in 1951. We were not allowed to have cats or dogs. <laughs> Tourists fed black bears at roadside. We kids roamed the forests without care. Black bears generally ran from us. We saw grizzlies only at night at the Gardner and West Yellowstone dumps. We spent winter weekends skiing at a rope tow hill five miles east of Mammoth. In the 1980s, improvement to a steel towered pomolith was widely criticized. Sadly for the local children, another inappropriate activity ended. Before the rail line was removed, we enjoyed a train ride from Livingston to Gardner. College students throughout the country came to Yellowstone as summer employees and were known as savages. Many rode the Savage Special train which disembarked at Gardner. At the Lamar Valley's Buffalo Ranch, hay was raised and buffalo were fed during the winter. Herd size was managed at a slaughterhouse there. At our community's annual Buffalo Ranch picnic, we climbed haystacks and retreated to horse-drawn sleigh rides. As Boy Scouts, we climbed local mountains and earned swimming badges at the Chico Pool. In winter, we made overnight trips to a cabin at Slough Creek, traversing the four miles in the only gear we had downhill skis and boots. In winter, we lived in isolation. No tourists, no snowmobiles. If we needed something, we built it. We explored the empty hotel and other buildings. Finding a printing press and a key-making machine, we put them to use. It was adolescent bliss. In eighth grade, we did not develop strong relationship skills with females. <laughs> I have no recollection of ever conversing with this girl. <laughs> Our freshman year, we dispersed to a variety of high schools. I attended Wasatch Academy in Utah, along with students from many other western parks. The president of our camera club from Yosemite was Ansel Adams' son. My last three years I attended Gardner High School. The one girl in our senior class dated the local forest ranger. We boys developed significant relationships with cars, went stag to the junior prom, and took lots of cold showers. <laughs> Blister rust is a fungus disease that attacks and kills white pine trees. Our blister rust crew lived in a tent camp below Mount Washburn. We hiked the mountainside, searching for and destroying the disease's host plant, wild gooseberry. McCartney's cave in front of the visitor center and Devil's Kitchen in the upper terraces reportedly contained poison gas. 
skeptical, we lowered caged gophers into the caves. When the gophers survived, we rappelled into the caves and conducted our own exploration. As the Mount Holmes lookout, I enjoyed glorious sunsets over Hebgen Lake, crouched on a, in, in an insulated stool during frightening lightning storms and endured a frightening September blizzard. In 2019, a lightning strike burned the lookout building to the ground. We climbed to the nearby Hoodoos and the Tetons. When a girl stood me up one evening, a friend and I made a night ascent of Liberty Cap at the base of the Mammoth Terrace. A regrettable act. Freud could have offered an opinion. <laughs> In the area of the big bands, college musicians were hired to play nightly throughout the park. We pursued the elusive female at dances at Mammoth's Recre Recreation Hall and at Old Faithful Canyon and Lake. In 1956 and 57, I worked on the construction of Canyon Village. In the 50s, there was no appreciation for historic architecture. The magnificent 1911 Canyon Hotel near the brink of the Lower Falls burned down while being demolished in 59. In later years, I continued growing up in Yellowstone, nights in snow caves over Fawn Pass, skiing across Yellowstone Lake to its southern end. Though I never had a pet and limited exposure to females, I was blessed to have lived in that special place. Thank <laughs> you.